Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you how to split one file into parts. Now, this might be useful if you're uploading a file to the internet, but you only have a certain limit of, for example, 200 megabytes and your file is 400 megabytes, so you have to split it in half for you to be able to upload it to the internet. That's just a quick example uh, for what you're going to use this, but I'm just going to show you how to split any file into uh, any parts, any amount of parts. Um, doesn't matter what size you can choose. But uh, let's get right into it. You'll need a little application that you can download from this webpage, and of course, the link will be in the description. It will bring you to this web page. It's totally free. You can go ahead and click on download now to download the application. It's called Keka. Uh, I think it's pronounced at least. Go ahead and download that and install that on your computer. So once you have installed the application on your Mac, go ahead and launch it up and you have this window here with a few extra options where you can kind of tweak your compression method. Now the first thing you'll see is the format. Of course, the most common used format is the zip format. Uh, but I would not recommend using this if you're going to split your uh, file into multiple parts. Uh, only use this if you're only going to make one single archive out of it. But I would recommend going with the 7Z format uh, since that's probably the most commonly used file format uh, when splitting into multiple parts. So go ahead and choose the 7Z format. And then for the method, that's pretty much up to you. You can go with the fastest. Of course, it's going to be a faster compression method and it's just going to be done quickly depending on how much time you have. If you go with maximum or even ultra, it's going to take more time, it's going to use a more advanced uh, compression method. The advantage of this though is that um, your file size will be uh, smaller. So for example, you have a one gigabyte file that you're splitting into two parts. Well, those two parts might only be 900 megabytes together. So it's going to uh, reduce the file size, which might be useful if you're going to upload it to the internet, for example, where you want the file size to be as small as possible. So that's totally up to you what method you want to use. We're just going to go with normal here uh, for the sake of this tutorial, but that's totally up to you. Now you can go ahead and split. Uh, you can choose the file size of your parts. Uh, you can go ahead and click on it. Here you have a few default presets, for example, the most recent floppy disks, which are still pretty old uh, for CDs and, and DVDs and stuff like that. So these are common presets, but of course you can also go ahead and choose it yourself. We're going to go ahead and choose 200 megabytes. So any value you put in here is in megabytes. So do keep that in mind. Then you can set a password. Of course, that's totally optional. You do not need to do that. You can also encrypt your file names if you want uh, people not to be able to see what's inside the archive without actually um, extracting it. And this can be pretty handy, especially if you have a password. Uh, if you password protect your archive, you can still see the names of the files that are in it. Uh, now, if you do not want that to be possible, you can go ahead and encrypt your file names. But if you have nothing confidential in it, you can just leave that unchecked, which I'll do right here. Go ahead and check solid archive if you're using the uh, 7z format, of course. Uh, exclude exclude Mac resources fork. I recommend doing that. It's really not necessary. Uh, to include uh, those, especially if you're going to share the file with Windows users and stuff like that. Definitely don't need that. It's just going to add extra files and stuff like that. And of course, again, another optional option here is uh, delete the files after compression. So that's pretty straightforward. It will just delete your file once you compress it. So we're just going to uh, leave that for now unchecked. And here you can go ahead and drag the file uh, to Keka in the doc. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a file here I have I have an old video of mine which is uh, as you can see here 400 megabytes 401 megabytes actually so I might get three parts and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this file into uh, the dock on the Keka icon and you'll see that it will start um, the compression and here you can go ahead and choose what you want to save this in so we're just gonna go ahead and save it just next to this one and call it the uh, compressed version or just compressed go ahead and save it and it's going to start compressing for you so there we go it finished compressing my file here it split it into two parts and again remember my initial file was 401 megabytes and i asked it to split in 200 megabytes file which it did it took about 48 seconds to complete the task and here I have my two files. One of them is 200 megabytes and the other one is uh, about 150 megabytes. As you can see uh, here it says that it's 209 megabytes. Now this is not exactly precise. Uh, for some reason when you ask the finder to calculate the file size it's not really precise. It always adds uh, onto it. Once you actually upload these files to the internet they will be exactly 200 megabytes. So do not worry. It does split the file in the proper file size. Uh, this is just, I don't know, it's just a finder that calculates it in a different way I guess, but it does uh, split it in the uh, 
in a proper way. So this is pretty cool. As you can see, I used the normal compression method, and I ended up with uh, about 350 megabytes uh, of archive. So it did remove 50 megabytes of my archive, which is quite a bit of, of sizes, especially if you're going to do this on really, really big files um, that you know might be really, really useful if you want to reduce the file size of that. And of course, uh, if you use the ultra compression method, for example, it's going to make it even smaller. So that's how you split a file into multiple parts. I'll thank you a lot for watching. My wallpaper will be, of course, in the description, so you can go ahead and download it if you do uh, like it. And uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching once again. You can go ahead and check out my two latest videos there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on uh, Google+. Plus. You can do all that social stuff. And, of course, you can always just drop me a message on, on here on YouTube. Uh, so, once again, I'll thank you a lot for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.